What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to go and do a side quest in the North Lomai Labyrinth. It's called the North Lomai Labyrinth Prophecy. And in order to get there, we're going to go uh, to the surface and we're going to go over to the top. It's right at the top center of the map. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a member or a regular, thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So Mayotaki Shrine is where we go into. If you haven't done this labyrinth initially and unlocked the shrine here, you're going to need to go into my channel and never search because this has already been done uh, and I'll try to leave a link in the description. If you've done this, all we need to do is literally come to this uh, portal here and we're going to activate this portal down here uh, inside of the labyrinth. And then we're going to go and uh, follow the instructions, which is going to take us to the top, to the, uh, the labyrinth in the sky. And that's where we're going to find all of these other portals that we need to unlock in order to go into the depths and fight a construct um that is it's a really really difficult one actually but um yeah this is going to be a very very long video much longer than i would like it to be uh but uh, yeah this quest is just enormous the north lomai labyrinth prophecy or the north lomai prophecy so now all we need to do is telling us to go to the sky and you must have unlocked this um uh, shrine in here as well 10 best shrine which is in in the sky i've got all of these labyrinths all of these um uh, shrines unlocked every single shrine is in my uh is in in my my playlist my uh, tears of the kingdom playlist i will try to link all of the relevant ones in the, in the description if i don't just remind me and i will link them for you so when we get to the top in here this is where the the, the bit's gonna this is where it's gonna be really hard to do but if you just follow a pattern where you see like the 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 distances between the labyrinth kind of like maze when they're darker that means that there's going to be like a grate and you need to go up, uh, below that in order to go over to the other side there's going to be four uh, different um, uh, like portals like this and the thing is, we've done some labyrinths in the past in Breath of the Wild where you can climb the walls. In here you can't because you, you use your paraglider all the time. But don't be scared of, uh, of actually roaming around because it does kind of like give you quite a lot. If you've got a bit of stamina, it will give you quite a lot, a lot of uh, time to look around. And as you can see, you have to uh, guide yourself with the minimap. And uh, do you see this thing in here? There's going to be like a, a cutout in there because it's a, um, a darker bit. So you just have to go into the direction of the dark bit and then turn right, as you can see, and then just, if we go left, that's going to be our first uh, portal in here, right in there. So there's uh, four, uh, and then you're gonna go to the top and you're gonna get another one. I won't show you exactly how to get all of these because it's it's quite confusing to, to try to explain to you. Um, how to get these uh, these portals and how to you know go right, go directly there because I've made many many mistakes trying to go into a certain portal and then having to backtrack because it wasn't the right uh, um, path I was taking the wrong path but you know I will try to guide you to where um, uh, they uh, they are approaching as you can see looking here um, I couldn't really go any further from that but if you go into the areas where it's got like a dark patch you can kind of like go below and uh, and cross over it you just have to like kind of like uh, roam around until you you know go in the direction of the of the dots they all uh, marked on your minimap and then all you need to do really is um, try to find a way through until you get to that there is really no shortcut in here it, you know if you if you feel like your stamina is getting a little bit low there's loads of these like platforms in here like metal grates um that you can land in and um and kind of like recover from your stamina another thing you can do to help yourself is going to be to drop down uh, really low and then the wind will blow you all back up again and you'll be much much higher you'll be able to see things from uh really high up uh, because if you are too low and you won't be able to go back up unless you drop too uh, you drop really low 
um, and and if you if you're too low, you're not going to be able to see some of the the openings that are here. You see this one in here, like you have to stay like in the middle. If you go in the middle of those two grades, that's going to lead you into a different path. And uh, if it's got like a a dark patch on the mini map, then it will show you that there's going to be a path going forward, exactly like this. Normally, like you just go directly to the location. So as you can see, I've got one, another one in here, and uh, it will be like a straight line. You go direct, uh, you go like in a straight line from the center to to where the these um uh, these like portals are. Uh, but what you can do is you can also you will have to, to also go to the initial location you see like in here when we get to the beginning we can see the 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 shrine where we landed up on the on the top floor uh, as you can see look like this uh, we're gonna go and see the shrine when we get to the front of the shrine there, there's going to be another path at the back and there's going to be like wind blowing you can kind of like go uh, through the back in order to get the last dot which is going to be in the center there's also many many of these chests scattered around so you need to kind of like look for them i found many but i didn't include them all because it's just trying to make the video as short as possible and it's already running like 12 minutes but as you can see that's the initial shrine that you came in and uh, if we go around to get this one in the center if you go to the left in here and as you can see there's going to be a staircase in here you want to ignore this one you want to go to the left again and then in here as you can see this the the, the grate there is is cut off so just come to the staircase in here and then just rise up and then you'll be able to go and get the final one once you get this final one it doesn't really matter in what order you get them if you if you get them in a different order it's going to to be exactly the same way you get like a cutscene and you go to the top and there's a uh, another one on the top that is going to open up and uh, the wind is going to blow you much much higher so you can come all the way from where you are it doesn't really matter like I said uh, in terms of um, getting uh, um, uh, them in, in either order but you can just open your park par glider as you can see if you do, in, do it in the center then you're going to come to the center one and as you can see I'm going to do all three labyrinths um, all three prophecies they are separate I'm going to make like separate they are separate side quests so I'm going to make them like as a separate video because they are so long anyway so it's going to take quite a lot of uh, edits to try to shorten them down but finally so you get the top one and then we're gonna go and dive down because that grate, that initial grate that you walked on to activate the bottom portal that's gonna be open now and it'll be like a straight um, dive towards the depths and then we're gonna find uh, the construct and we're going to defeat it and it is quite uh, yeah, a tough one this one and I didn't have many like gems or anything like that powerful enough to kind of like uh, um, hit it and try to, to you know to defeat it but if you dive down keep on diving down all the way towards that red kind of like uh, malice here and you see the grate's not there anymore we just passed the North Lawn Mayor Labyrinth which was where, where we started and then we go all the way down into the depths and that's the North Lawn Mayor Chasm and we keep on going down and if you've got some of these um, uh, things that I can't remember the name of them, but they kind of like illuminate your path then you can just kind of like do them because um, You might just be too close to to where you land and uh, you might it might so the bright plumes That's it. So you and uh, you want to light up the way so you know exactly where where you are because the chasm is really really long but it is also like you can't really tell um, how far you are from the from the bottom so you can just kind of like I mean you can open a power glider and then you'll be able to see that there's going to be this thing in here and that's the the construct that we're gonna need to go into I need to apologize because my voice is gone I'm trying to record these videos because I promised you that I was going to record uh, all of these videos with voiceover but I've got a little bit of a cold and uh, my voice is completely gone but I'm still trying to to do all of these you know to, to you know keep up to my promise so I do apologize that I've got a little bit of a cough and a little bit of a sore throat and like raspy voice and there you go this is going to be the, your last uh, uh, part and because there are three parts uh, each one will give you a piece of clothing so this one is going to be the greaves and then we're going to go on to another one that is going to be like the helmet and then another one that is going to be uh, the the kind of like the t-shirt or the 
the top half of, um, of, of the clothing and these ones are actually really really uh, are tough they're not they're not um, as easy as like some of the flux constructs that I uh, that I've defeated previously this one is uh, flux construct 3 so you you need to be careful you need to be prepared because they are not as easy as some of them if you've got some eyeballs they are really really handy because they will find where that um, uh, like block is so you just have to kind of like uh, try to you know use as many things as you possibly can because he's going to throw some of these blocks at you as well and that will take a little bit of uh, of health but you know they they are not like the hardest but it took me quite a bit of time to to work out a way of uh, of defeating them but uh, you know it's one of those things you just have to keep on trying use as many tools as you possibly can and then once you are defeated you've got loads of zonite no charges down here loads of time bombs and things like that real ca little capsules and you get this thing here that i really really like so you just have to kind of like get a weapon that is not been modified and then you can just like fuse him to this and it's a really really powerful weapon it really really does a lot of damage once you've collected everything, just go to the portal in here. This is going to be the final portal. And then it's going to tell you that uh, you've been awarded this, um, this clothing. And uh, um, basically, it, something will come out of the ground. You just go and get it, and that will conclude the quest. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you'd like to know how I make my YouTube videos, how I work with video audio, what programs I use, what techniques I use, you can become a member that will give you access to a series of videos that I've created explaining the process that it, that I take in order to create these YouTube videos and, you know, it, a little, little tips and things like that that you might appreciate. Um, also, you'll have access to seven days worth of videos uh, that uh, nobody watched before because I upload everything in advance. So it's a... Uh, it's a little perk that you get for being a member in the, in the process you're going to help me because i really uh really appreciate all of the support and uh, that i get from you guys so evil spirit grips is what we get and that is it for this one thank you very much see you in the next one goodbye